What's up, guys? So welcome back to Expeditions. We have a very exciting episode ahead of us today. We are going to be going on one of our longest missions in search of some dinosaur bones, and we are going to be doing it in none other than the Con 39 Marshall. So we spent a lot of time in the last episode to be able to unlock this. It was not easy, but we did finally get it, and uh, here we go. $20,000, small price to pay to be able to use this thing. An unexpected find. We have reason to believe there's a site nearby that may contain an unknown dinosaur fossil. Hikers stumbled on preserved footprints that may lead to this site, but we need to confirm before we send the dig team. So here we go. We are gonna be using our brand new Con 39. So excited about this thing. Definitely gonna wanna customize this. Let's see what we can do. We've got Nerf bars, like a step into the vehicle, offers slight crash protection against side impacts. I feel like that's not that great. The bolt-on fenders, I don't necessarily love that either. For bumpers, we can go with a reinforced bumper for crash protection. I'm gonna go with that for sure. I, I don't know how much we're gonna run into things in the back, but I guess you never really know. There's also a spare wheel mount. An extra mount for a spare wheel allowing for quick in the field repairs. I guess we could potentially use that. I don't think we need it though. Metal detector and roof rack. We don't have the roof rack unlocked yet. Front bumper, we've got a bull bar. We've also got a couple of sun visors. I kind of feel like the bull bar wouldn't be a bad idea, so I'm gonna go with that. Like the black rims on here, so we'll go there. Can we upgrade the engine? We can't yet, looks like. We've got a high range. Increased gear count, top speed, and fuel efficiency at the expense of lower strength. I feel like that's probably not worth it. So we're gonna chill on that. We can't get the lift suspension yet. We're gonna have to search the region to be able to find that. We can get these tires. So our stock ones are average, average, average. These are good, excellent average. I say we go with that. We could go with an extended winch. For $3,000, I mean, this is going to be our go-to exploratory vehicle now. Let's get the low-mounted snorkel. Obviously, want to get the high-mounted eventually, too. But uh, things are looking pretty good. Now, for the color that we want here, I honestly really like black. I want to see... So we've got all these crazy decals and stuff as options, too. I think I might go with, like, a black or a gray. Something like that. I don't want to be too boring, but at the same time... Maybe like a tan. Red's really not that bad either. I just, I, I feel like a, a super bright color doesn't make a whole lot of sense. I mean, yellow's pretty, I'm gonna go yellow. I, super bright color doesn't make sense, he says, as he picks yellow. All right, we don't have any stickers unlocked yet, so that thing's looking pretty good. We got her on some fresh tires, got a bumper on there. I think she's good to go. We are gonna need the metal detector on there for this mission, searching for these dinosaur bones. Gosh, this thing looks insane. And then for our inventory, I mean, we've kind of learned our lesson. Oftentimes, you're gonna want at least two jack screws. We've got five anchors. I think we're good on that. I might get another set of jack screws. We're going to be much better prepared now, and let's see if we can go succeed here. We, um, I don't know. I'm, I'm a little, a little timid based off of what happened in the last episode. We kind of had a bit of a rough time at times, so I would like to make sure we're extra prepared going forward. Look at the way that thing handled that first that first area, dude. This thing is an absolute monster. Yeah, I think diff lock and four-wheel drive is just on all the time here. Okay. So we're going to trade. We're going to bring this. It's a good thing we left an empty slot in our inventory. Conduct a visual inspection of the footprints. Where do we want to do that at? Oh, out here. Okay. So this is an area we have not been yet. It is quite a ways away. And it is not gonna be easy getting there. Do we think we can, I mean, I feel kind of confident because we have a bunch of jack screws. I don't want to fully send it off the mountain off the start, but I guess we're going to. Let's really test the mightiness of the con here. Look at that light work, baby. That's what I'm talking about, okay. We're in good hands. We do have to be very careful. You can see how bouncy it gets. If we get going too fast and we hit some rocks at some weird angles, I think this thing does have a fairly high center of gravity. So we want to try to be wary of that, but this should be a welcome addition to our scouting missions. I really don't like this. I can't, I can't get my myself out of the ruts here there we go let's straight back maybe 
we just can we just get out of this? Thank you. Do we think this is our our best course of action? I guess so. We're definitely gonna want to go right up this giant ridge here. Okay. So I feel like we're starting to get into the point where this game becomes very difficult. We had some issues with that last mission. Oh boy. Uh, we could use an anchor to get across, but I think we might be able to go left here. Dude, I mean, this is insane. I don't think we have another vehicle that would have been able to do this. At least not this way. We would have been going somewhere else. Try not to get caught on that tree branch. There we go. But yeah, I think we're starting to get to the point where the game really punishes you. I mean, this is it's all flat in front of us. We just need to get across this crevice. Putting you to work today, little buddy. We're gonna see what you can do. Definitely don't want to winch to that. I feel like I must have taken a wrong turn or something because it doesn't make sense that it's this hard before we even get to the objective. Hello, put her in low. You got this. You got this, there it is. Could probably let some air out of the tires too, to be honest, but we're okay. Back in auto, so we can build a bridge here for 75 spare parts, or we can try to chart our own path. I, if there's a way around, I don't want to use the parts. We have found out just how absolutely valuable those are. Let's go ahead and reduce the tire pressure a little bit. I feel like we might I just don't want to get stuck. Uh, I feel like going down is the best option. We kind of got stuck a little bit, but I think we're going to be good. Let's go, baby. Back this up. Yes, sir. Taking some damage, but we're fine. I will say, our gas... This thing flies through gas, huh? We might have a bit of an issue from a gas perspective. We made it, though. All right. We, we are smooth sailing through here. This should be nice and easy. We've got full inflation in the tires. Try to save as much gas as possible. I feel like there was a lot to figure out back there, and... We wasted a lot of time and fuel in doing so, but that's okay. Dude, this thing is... She can go over anything, but she is bouncy. We're gonna be okay. I really like the interior view of this, too. I feel like this is the only vehicle in this game that I've liked being inside of. We're good. Just... Keep pushing. We do have to keep an eye out. If there are any airdrops or anything, we could potentially get some more fuel from those. So, just be on the lookout. We're one third down. It's making me really nervous. I, I, there is nothing worse than being worried about fuel or mileage, especially in this game. But it does look like we were able to make it to our first objective. Here we go. Start scanning. Let's take a look. So you said you saw some dinosaur footprints, eh? Gonna see if we can. Are those it right there? Those are real dinosaur footprints. All right. I like it. So we're gonna continue on. Looks like it wants us to go up that way. Oh boy. I'm thinking it looks like go to this. If we can get across there. Looks like if we go right, we might be able to climb up there. We might be able to make it work left too. Left definitely looks a lot closer, so we're, we're gonna go for it. With our fuel economy, I think shortest route possible might be our best idea, unless we get stuck. Don't tip on me. Don't tip on me. All right, here we go. We're going to go full low pressure. This thing should 
should merc this. It should just just fly through this. Ideally. Come on. Okay, you know what? We're gonna we're gonna use our inventory. There it is. Mobile winch point. Pull us up, baby. That's what they're there for. Okay. Just shaved off a bunch of time. Let's put our tire pressure back. We're gonna keep pushing up. Um probably to the right here. <sighs> what the fudge, dude? We're gonna be fine. Use use a jack screw. That's why we have a bunch of them. Um, I'm gonna put us out there. Let's just play it smart. That is dirty. Is there any like can we I don't know if we load this thing down with like a bunch of, of stuff on it. We could do like a lowering kit on it. I don't think you want that though, because you, you want the you want the, the suspension high enough that you can get over things. What's the word I'm looking for? I can't think of it. I think I've already said it in a million times in this series, but you want that clearance, but this thing is so short and, and stout, I think she's I don't know. Deliver the archaeological set. Alright, that's part one. Whoa! That's an actual dinosaur bone right there. What? In the <laughs> Dude, this is sick. I'm trying to figure out what kind of dinosaur that would be. That's That's really cool. Okay, so next up we want to explore all the way over there, bro. I don't know how we're going to manage this. If you want like that that is a lot of very... I mean, we can't use our binoculars, so we learned this in the last episode. If we use these... I know you can use the drone. I don't know if you can use the binoculars, actually. Does that do anything for us? It actually... No freaking way, dude. That completely changes the game for us. It does look like there's an airdrop down there. It's got jack screws and, and spare parts. I'm going to shut our engine off for a second. I'm going to try to get a little bit more with this binocular. Going to try to coat everything we possibly can. I think we are going to need to get a roof rack and, and get more, what's it called? More like extra gas canisters if we want to continue using this thing. There's the airdrop we were talking about. We're going to have to get across this to complete this. And I don't know if we're going to have enough gas to, to do that. Um, is, oh, there's not even a way down over here, dude. Oh, boy. Okay. Shut this off. We we might have to... Oh, it's a no-flight zone. Well, I'm going to fly a little bit anyway. We might have to get crafty. You're watching a, a trained professional here. Just keep that in mind. Inventory, anchor point. Put it behind us. And then we're going to go in. We're going to grab our winch. We're going to put it on our back one. Put it there. And I think... I think we're just going to have to have to send it. Push it out. Oh my god, dude. <laughs> what? This game is insane. Okay, we got to be careful here. We're good. Give us a little bit more. Go forward a little. Oh, we're okay. Give us a little bit more. Push this forward. Keep her going. And I think we're good. Okay. We can, uh, we can release. Okay. Just straight vertical rock crawling. What is the best way across this? I think we got to go up. Bro, this is brutal. Uh, we maybe could have used that tree to be honest. We're, we're already kind of committed. Come on, get there, please. Don't do that. Okay, I guess we're gonna we're gonna use the tree. Or we'll just go up this way. Turn, turn. Bro, how how can you not do this? We're just burning fuel here. This is what's gonna get us. Please don't flip us. Do we think we can do this? There it is. Tell me back this way. I'm trying not to use any gas if it's possible. Oh God. We need to turn and get away from this tree. Come on. There it is. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna hope we can get across here. Nope. 
<laughs> I mean, <laughs> I didn't think we were going to, but we had to try. All right, I'm going to attach to the tree. Pull us back. And then we're going to attach to this. And try to pull us forward. There it is. Don't attach to the back. There it is. Okay. Oh, my goodness, dude. I, this would be really, really... Oh, we forgot we lowered our tire pressure. This would be really, really fun if we weren't super stressed out about gas. I mean, I am having a lot of fun with this. Are we getting close? Yeah, we want to look. If we get to this edge, we might be able to finish the binox. I'm just so stressed about the gas situation. Like, I, I feel like we're going to maybe not make it. Instead of the spare parts, we should have brought extra gas. All right, so let's... Shut her down. We are going to grab our Binox. I love that you can scout like this. Use your drone. Use everything else. Okay, how are we looking? We're at 72%. So we have this area. We have a lot of this area. We're going to have to go up here. Fire back up. No time like the present. I wonder if there's... Could you get like a drone specialist? Like a person that you could bring with you that can massively increase your drone range and we could just throw our drone up and see all of this all at once you guys remember in the last couple episodes when we were trying to drive over every part of stuff like this i really don't know what happens if you run out of fuel i guess i mean i wonder if we could call in another truck or how that works don't flip or trav all the way to the edge park her up use our binocs we can also use our drone 87 percent 88, 91, 92. Bro, what else do you need from me? All the way up top, and then that back there. How close do you have to get with the drone? For 93. I marked the, this is the that, that back there. I mean, we're, we're freaking on it, dude. That doesn't count. Not really. How about this? There it is. Pick up the archeological equipment. Okay, which is all the way over here? Bro, there's no way. I mean, we could we could just fast travel back, right? Is that how that works? West Outpost, we've got one free delivery. Now we want to pick up the equipment. What do you mean? Hold on a second. I think I'm a bit confused. Building modules. Can we build something that gets us fuel? Essential storage is going to cost us 10,000. I'm down. Freaking build it. I'm going to trade with it. I'm going to get some fuel. Boom. Let's max out our fuel tank. That's what I'm talking about. We've got spare parts. We've got wheels. Okay. So we have a full tank of gas now. I don't understand. Hold on. Shut this off. Throw the drone up. Why is it saying our objective is over here? Is that where they are? I guess that's where it is. Okay. On here, it has like a, a weird search area. Wait, can we go this way? Hold on. I don't want to waste any any more whatever. Yeah, if we go straight up and around, that's going to be our best case scenario. It has like a search the area thing, so I was confused. But I guess we just have one, one point that we need to go to. Come on, baby. Get up there. Get up there. That's what I'm talking about. So we do have a little bit of extra fuel there if we need it for later. That was clutch. I don't really know how those work. Uh, obviously we're, we're like expanding the outpost, but every mission from here on out, does that restock? I would hope for $10,000. That's a pretty hefty price to pay. Certainly hope we can make it here. Okay. I'm going to zoom out a little bit. We're also going to switch this to... to morning time. Give us a bit more to look at. We've got three anchor points and three jack screws left i think which is good okay so we're gonna take the archaeological tools and now we've got to get straight across here to an unexpected find and i bet you guys can't tell how i intend to do that hold on let's shut this down we're gonna use our drone do this things have gotten a lot harder can we just drive down that do you think i was gonna use our little anchor point to crawl down but i don't think we're gonna be able to go that far it's kind of a shelf situation you see what i mean i don't know how far our our what's it called will go the the winch we do have the extra long winch on there i just i don't want to get halfway down the cliff and it's like oh you're out of winch i guess you're just screwed let's just go this way 
There's got to be a better route. Mm, probably to the right here. Already like one tenth out of gas, and it just stresses me out for no reason. Okay, do we want to go down there? That we can go straight down. If we go straight here... Hmm... I think we could make it through that okay. It's a bit more of a direct route. I think we're gonna take that. If we go through here nice and slow... There it is. We were able to avoid all of that down there. I'm just trying to... F we're good. Look where you're going first, Trev. I'm trying to find the path of least resistance with this gas situation. I, I don't remember this thing being so bad on gas. I think we were... The, the little scout that we used most recently got away from us a little bit there. I think that thing has the best fuel economy in the game, so I guess that's why we're feeling it so much here. We also don't have a roof rack or anything where we can add any extra, so there's a lot working against us here. Oh my goodness. Okay, this is starting to become a little bit concerning because it looks like that is up top, but it looks like there's a way around. I don't think we try to stay on the right. I think we just go down. I think we're good. Scratch that. Got nervous for no reason. We're going to be fine. We're going to go through this valley down here. We're going to go up. There's a little pond. We'll go past our objective a little bit to get up to its height. And this honestly should be probably the easy... Oh, this is where we found that drone. It's all making sense. I'm going to go left here. Just slowly making our way to the objective. I really... like. I guess worst case scenario, if we're about to run out of gas, you pay to go back to base and then you just get more gas from that thing at base. Then you gotta retravel back to your next destination again, but I, I think that's why it works the way it does. Obviously, we don't wanna do that if we don't have to, but if push comes to shove, that's what we're gonna do. Up top here, oh my gosh, I love when the tires and stuff get all wet what she said. Let's just go the easy way around. There you go. All right. Oh boy. Conduct a visual inspection of the footprint. So we've got more footprints. That means we're probably going to find another skeleton. And it looks like the footprints go up. Kind of a tight one to hit there. Are we going to have to go up? Oh. Oh, those are... Legit. Those are even better than our last ones. Deliver the archaeological equipment to the excavation site. I guess that's just right here. Dude, this thing has been so good to us. I love it. I, the, going down the side of the mountain with our winch, that was the coolest moment in this game by far. This thing is a beast. You just gotta be careful. You gotta finesse her a little bit. Deliver the supplies. We got another one, baby. Found another dinosaur fossil. Oh my goodness. We got $47,400 for that. For a sponsor payment. We've also got a bunch of things left over. It only took us 31 minutes. That really wasn't that bad. 79 points of damage. 18.9 gallons of fuel. Back to the HQ we go, dude. That was huge. I don't think there's anything this thing can't handle, so let's keep it up here. We've got another huge contract from the Arizona National Museum. $40,900 payment. Very hard difficulty as well. A little bit shorter than the last one. We recently recovered the diary of a citizen of Redwater, a town that no longer exists. Among many things, it speaks of a secret cache buried in the mountains. Finding this cache would be an incredible find for the museum. If you find it, we'd appreciate you bringing it in. We're gonna be bringing Jaeger with us. Of course, we're gonna be rolling with this absolute beast that we have here. Now, I do feel like we should customize this. We should fill our slots and we should sell our spare parts. And instead, I was gonna say instead bring fuel, but it's only four gallons. I'm gonna go with the spare wheel mount. And I think that's gonna allow me no. 
that's not what I want. We could put a wheel on the back of it. That's pretty good. Why, why not? I wanted to get another slot. We don't have anything. See, this unlocks seven slots, so we could bring so much fuel, but we just don't have access to that yet. The bumper that we have gives us the one slot, and that's it. That's all we can do. We could get side-mounted racks. We need to complete not just a stone to unlock that. Oh, this is tough. I mean, we're just... I, I'm going to fill it with four gallons of fuel. It, that could be the difference maker for us. I... We're going to struggle with this until we can actually get a, a better roof rack situation. Uh, I'm going to take, I don't know if it affects anything, but I'm going to take the metal detector off the roof in case the, like the weight or anything, if it, if it makes it less efficient. So I think we're going to go one set of jack screws, one set of anchors. I'm a little bit worried about it. Uh, I mean, we, we, we worked it out last time. We wouldn't have worked it out unless we got really lucky that one of the objectives was right next to a thing where we could fix it but we're we're just gonna have to try to do our best here so where we're going here lost and forgotten we're gonna go look for some caches all right oh yeah dude it's all over the map this is this is tough okay we made a mistake here i'm gonna have to back out i i don't think we're gonna be able to make it that far with this i do think this is what we want so what i'm gonna do i'm also gonna spawn in with our tuz and I'm going to see, I'm going to throw some extra fuel in the Tuz. I'm going to bring an extra set of jack screws just in case. I think we, like, if we run out of fuel, we should be able to bring the Tuz to our con and hopefully be able to refuel it. I'm pretty sure, I remember doing stuff like that in SnowRunner. I don't know if we can do that here. The problem that's that's making me really worried about it is there are no other locations around this map. This is our only base in Coconino. So we just like, there's no way I'm gonna be able to go to all of these locations and scan all four or five of them on one tank of gas with this thing. So we're definitely gonna have to do a little, a little bit of wheeling and dealing here. So how do we, I think if we go to trucks, switch into our con, all right, here we go. Wish us luck. I'm gonna get out there. We're gonna go for our, our first cache. And I mean, what do you think the most efficient way of doing this is? I mean, probably just one, I don't, I don't know. I'm gonna say, let's just go counterclockwise. So we'll, we'll set, this one as our objective to start. Okay. Well, this is gonna be really interesting. We really could build a, a better thing. So we could go to there, back to here. To here, up here, down this way, Oop. down like this, and then probably, hmm, probably to here, through here, up here, and then we'll figure out where to go from there. Okay. Oh boy, this is going to be a long one, but... Hopefully we're going to be okay. We'll see if we can find any shortcuts along the way. The problem is, is we would probably have better luck if we just used our other scout vehicle. Oh boy, are we... I think we want to be down to the right. We're already starting this off wrong. But yeah, I think our other scout vehicle... Obviously a better look. Obviously a better use. Like, you know... We could probably do all of this in one run with that. It's just not as good. It would take it would take a lot longer. We wouldn't be able to traverse as much. I want to use the new one. We just we need I'm going to make that a priority. I'll probably grind it after this episode. I'm going to figure out whatever that mission we need to unlock the roof rack and the side racks is. Cuz if we have extra fuel on this thing, there's nothing that's stopping it. Show a task, wrong address, pass. We got places to be, baby. And really worst case scenario if we can't transfer fuel between vehicles, which I'm pretty sure you can, then we could totally just uh, finish it out with the other vehicle. It's kind of the, the plan that I have here, so hopefully it works out. Uh, forget we haven't been here in a while. Looks like we're green all the way across here. Should be good. Don't get swept away. it to our first objective. I think that's the first place we're going to go. Now the thing, can, if we find the cache, can I look up where the cache is? 
And if we if we go to that one right away, I, mean, I don't want to cheat, but that doesn't sound too shabby either. No tire pressure. Crawl over these rocks. There you go, girl. Get in there. Connect the winch. Yeah, I guess this thing would be a little OP if you didn't have the gas issues. I know the Yar 97, 87, whatever it is, that thing is also really, really good. We're going to have to work on maybe unlocking that in the near future. Oop, forgot to put the air back in. Okay, hold on a second. I thought we were going to want to be going up here. Can we go around the side? No way. That gets way too deep. Yeah, we're going to have to go up somehow. Oh, boy. I don't know how we're going to get up that. Can we do our winch thing in reverse? Like if I get up to here, parking brake, go to our inventory, use the anchor. Let me drop our tire pressure all the way. Can you pull us up? Come on. There it is. There it is. There it is. Yes. Yes. Oh my God, what a beast. Let's go. That's what I'm talking about. Oh, my goodness. That feels good. Okay, this game has completely opened up for us. Oop. Can't keep doing that, Trev. I tell you what, I don't think we have any other vehicles that would have accomplished that. We're going to be fine. Just roll, roll onto your... Yeah. Roll onto your side. You're good. I really hope we're not st stuck here, though. Let me throw my drone up. Oh, no. This is where we want to be. Perfect. The question is, I have no idea how we're going to get back. I'm stuck on s I'm on the branch here. Nope, nope, nope. Pull us back. Okay. Catch me. Dude, I love that you can, like, if you feel yourself starting to fall, you can... You can quick grab the winch and attach to a tree before you it's like a spider-man or something just grab whatever I want yeah I don't know how we're gonna get back from here but the fact that we're here is is pretty impressive as is so I'm uh, I'm pretty stoked this probably would have been the, the end of us with any other vehicle. I mean, we, we could have gone all the way around. I'm sure there's a way around here in front of us, but that was legitimately insane. I was worried our bumper was gonna be a bit too much in the way. Do we, we have full full tire pressure, we're good. Okay. First dig site, is this it? Unfortunately, there's nothing of value left at this point. So I'm wondering if we might wanna change our, our direction here. I don't think we're gonna go back the way we came. I think we, Delete all of it, and I think we go here next. I think we continue around this this coastline, and we hope that we can find a way to get back up, because there's no way we are going to make it the other way. About a third of the way through the gas. We're definitely not... We're not hitting all of them, but that's okay. Hopefully, we're going to be able to get to a spot where our other truck can help us out, and I guess we'll find out soon enough. Bunch of rocks in there. I'm gonna try to sneak around. Don't you dare flip on me. Dude, this... This is insane. This is really, really intense. Okay. I'm gonna park it for a minute. Let's shut her off. Send the drone up. See what we think our best course of action is gonna be. There's not really a good one. We're not gonna get up top there. Probably going around right there. That's the only answer we have, bro. This is rough. I guess we could go low. Hold on. But then I don't know. Yeah, we can go around that way. Do we trust this? I don't trust that. We're going to go low. Oh, that's such a long way around, though. Shoot. Why must they do this to me, dude? We got a new airdrop. I think... I think we can climb that. I think we have to. I, I, we're never going to get anywhere otherwise. We'll see if this airdrop happens to have any fuel. The game wants to be kind. 
I would imagine probably not. They're probably gonna have some spare parts for us. How wonderful are they? Some jack screws, I'll take that, I guess. And some scrap metal. Alright. Low tire pressure. I mean, we do have the trees we can winch to here. Yeah, this was the play. You gotta be more aggressive, Trev. Now, do we want to try to go up and above? Or just around? Oh god, I'm nervous about where that one is. Oh, we'll be able to get to it. It's down, though. Okay. Just a nice smooth sail around here. Get our tire pressure back. Max fuel mileage. I wonder what ha if you fail an expedition, will it reset us or does it let us spawn in and go check the last two places? That's what I want to know. We got some cacti. We're dragging along with us. It's okay. Got a bunch of speed here. And we might if we go up the mountain, we could coast down and try to save some gas. What we need to do is we need to make sure that we get this thing in a position to accept fuel before we run out. Like, we should get it into a flat area that we know we can reach with the other truck, because it's obviously not going to be as capable as this thing. Because if we can't get to it, there's no point. Next thing's going to be down here. I think we should just be able to roll right through, yeah. Okay. I like the addition of the drone, honestly. I didn't know if I liked it at first, but... It's made it pretty fun. Looks like we've got something here. Looks like a ritual place. Don't disturb it. Well, I ran it over. Okay. Uh, next logical one would, would probably be this one. I mean, if we could get this third one, that would be huge. Honestly, the other truck could just come from there and probably get these two. They look fairly easy. And like they, they have paved roads and stuff. This one, maybe not as easy as we would like. I just don't also I also don't want to get this thing too far away that we're not gonna be able to get to it again. But I think we just have to I think we just have to go for it. Alright, I'm going to put us ahead a little bit. So we have some daylight. I mean what are the chances? Oh god. Don't do this to me now. Let me through. What the fudge, dude? Come on. Go around the damn tree. And don't fall, please. Uh, what are the chance? We just destroyed the front part of our vehicle there. What are the chances that the 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 spot that you want to be? Are we good on? Yeah. The the objective that you want is the furthest one away. I feel like that's something this game would do. It's either this one's gonna be the one, or we're gonna have to do all five. I've got a feeling it's all five. That seems more in the spirit of things. But if it was gonna be just one, I think it would be this one for sure. We're we gonna be able to go. Oh yeah, we can. Okay. I actually feel pretty confident here. That was a really weird. Ah! I'm gonna say I actually feel really confident here, dude. That is weird. That <laughs> it's so far away. But yeah, I, I feel good. I, I think we're gonna be okay. Cautiously optimistic, we'll call it. Gotta love when you have nice pathways right where you wanna go. Now I think. I'm going to shut her off for a second. I think uh, we can't really see much yet. It's directly on the other side there, but I think we want to stay to the left. If we go left, we'll be able to stay uh, right or left works, actually. Left looks a bit easier. I'm going to go left. Here we go. Uh, a little under half a tank. We should be able to get to this one, and then I'm going to start heading in the direction of the next ones. And try to park her in a spot where if we need her desperately, we can get to her. But I'm hoping we're going to be able to finish it with our other vehicle. Now, I will say we did not equip the other vehicle with jack screws or anything. Which, now that I think about it, I definitely regret. Do we want to go? Oh, God. I think we go right now. That could be our downfall, though. If, if we... Oh, sh Oh, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Okay. Dude, this landscape is just insane. I mean, I really liked Carpathians in the last episode. And we're going to be going back to that for sure. But this... There's something about the freaking desert. Okay. The farthest away. 
Empty. Don't lose hope. We will uh, get the hiding place soon. Okay, shut this off. Let's think about what we want to do. I think this is probably the next hardest one. This one is, is close to base. If we can get this one, that is huge. We might have enough gas to, to get that done. So let's take a look. We're right here. I think we're going to want to back it up. There's not really a good way to get there. It actually might be better to go straight and loop around. I think it is. Okay. One third tank of gas. I mean, if we got three and two thirds, we should be able to get this last one, right? I hope. Here we go. Hope I made the right call on going around. This is such an interesting game, dude. Like, what? What are we doing? Just bumbling around out here in the desert. Why is this as addicting as it is? Just a, just a driving game. Straight driving. Up there. Maybe to the left, up to that way, yeah. Let's not get super crafty right now. We definitely want to try to take the shortest route, but if we're sitting there, like right now, we're at 0.9 gallons a minute. When we're spinning our tires, climbing up rocks, things like that, that's when you start getting into the twos and stuff. So it's not just about the shortest distance. It's also about trying to take it easy on the, the machinery here. Fudge you. Fudge you so hard dude fudge you well no i don't think we have enough because we dude this thing can't carry enough you you can't you can only carry like 30 spare parts <sighs> these freaking trees are gonna be the death of me do not tumble what the fudge i'm stuck on the freaking branch dude i just want to drive past you please let me drive past you thank you don't fall off this cliff trev Okay, I think we're going to have to think. E-brake, shut this thing off, throw the drone up. We're obviously going to have to get down this. I think we're going to have to use our, our trick. The question is, how do we want to get to here? I think we're just going to have to go around the right side. Okay. Well, wish us luck. We'll see if we can nail this again. It worked the first time. So we are going to use an anchor. Just kidding, we're not gonna use an anchor there. We use an anchor back here. We've got this on our back. We're gonna let some out. This one is not as, as clean, I feel like. Dude, this is... So epic, I was going to say. We're fine. It's not a big deal. It works out. Use your jack screw. We've got plenty of them. Bam. There it is. I mean, she's seen better days, but she's doing all right. Okay, we're going to the right. Here we go. Old girl got toe up from the flow up, but we're okay. I kind of feel bad we bought so many jack screws. I feel like we didn't need nearly as many as we, we purchased, and we found some along the way. Dude. We are looking rough. Look at the wheel wobble happening. Our alignment is, is off. Oh boy. This is, this is getting ugly. We're gonna have to go down by the water. Don't tip in the water. Hang on to me, treat. Come on. This is freaking insane. Gonna get your tire up on that? Shoot, we're low, low, low. Oh my God, dude. What the fudge? Okay, can I use an... I mean, use them or lose them, right? I wanna put an anchor point across here. There it is. There it is. Nope. We're good. We kind of got ourselves in a predicament. I think we're fine. This stump. Dude, we're wasting so much gas. If we can get over to that 
Oh my god, bro. What the fudge? This freaking stump. I can't turn. Commit, commit, commit. Commit, commit. Commit, commit. Commit, commit. Okay. Low tires. Gas is looking not great. But we're going to climb up out of this thing, baby. Oh my goodness. I... If you could be in love with a car, this is it right here. This was the best use of time that we did in the last episode. I really don't like this branch here, but I'm just going to try to go over it. What the fudge? Can I winch it out of the freaking ground? Dang it. Um, E-brake. Well, get me all the way up there. E-brake. Inventory. Anchor. Put it up there. Put the winch up on that guy. Come on. We need to get over this thing. Come on! It's not working. Maybe. There it is. Okay. I think our parking brake was on. I think sometimes I have my parking brake on when I don't mean to. We are really low on fuel. Okay. Uh, we want to go back to full pressure. Our objective is right there. Now, hold on a second. Let me pause this. I shut him off. We do have extra fuel. There it is. That's that's our bonus that we had in the front. Okay. Fire back up. Let's go. Dude, I think we freaking did it. Oh, boy. This was a ringer. Okay. Let's maybe... Maybe not and say we did, Trev. Come on. Let's let's not fail this right at the very end. Bro. Come on. What the f dude, okay. Last last anchor. Pull me out of here. Holy cow. I tried to jump the ravine there and nearly cost us the freaking match. Okay. We got this one. Trade. That's it? Take the fun to the outpost. Can I just fast travel there? Can I recover? We can't recover. It was there the whole time? I'm not going to be able to make it back. I don't... I. I can't go that far. We're going to have to get down to where that truck can reach us. We're going to want to get down there. And we don't have any anchors to get down there. I see a way down. Okay. Oh my God, dude. I mean, we've, we've got a quarter tank of gas. We might be able to make it farther than we think, but it was there the whole time. I, I did not expect that at all. I thought we were for sure going to have to go to all of them. That's why I was saving the closest one for last. It... it was a part of the strategy. The ob objective's over there, right? Yeah, all the way back there. It won't let us fast travel back there. That's terrible. I mean, it makes sense. That would have been really cheesy if we could. I probably shouldn't have even tried. That's a little embarrassing that I tried, but I'm just really stressed about this gas situation. Okay, so I'm going to... Our objective is going to be to get to that town, which is here. Because I think... Uh... Shoot, I don't know what our objective should be. We've got a quarter tank of gas. It might, we might just want to try to get as far as we can. I don't think we're going to be able to get that far though. Yeah, I'm going to take it, I'm going to take it to here and then we're going to take it up, up this way. Because I think that's a, a fairly easy path for the other truck. So we're going to try, we're, we're going to try to make it back if we can. But if we can't, we're going to, we're going to keep, you know, our cards close to our chest and we're going to make it so that we can actually save it. If we end up failing this, that'll be really, really sad. This is also the easiest path back. There's no like blockades. There's no mountains to climb really, I don't think. So maybe we'll be able to make it back on the fuel that we have, I doubt it, but a man can hope, I guess. <sighs> it's it's not a big deal. We've got jack screws, we're fine. Just a, a really silly way, really silly way to fall over. So we made it to our Western town. And now we are gonna be going through the town to the left. I don't know, Trev, that looks like a pretty damn big mountain to me. I'm gonna trust my judgment though. I think I remember this area. Bro, this has been a doozy. I really wish we would have outfitted our other truck better. 
I hope we can get this thing to a point where the truck can reach it. 2.1 gallons a minute. Do not fall down that cliff. I mean, could we shut it off and just winch our way tree to tree all the way back? We need to make sure we leave it in a spot where... We oh, God, dude. Oh, we're good. We're good. We're good. I'm trying to coast a little bit. Oh. This is kind of ugly. Dude, we're almost... I mean, this is a pretty... A pretty easy setup in here. We're almost out. There's, there's not a whole lot farther we can go. It's going to be up to the other truck from this point on. We almost made it back. When we have a roof rack on this thing, it's going to be unstoppable. Make it up this hill. Okay, I kind of want to try to strategize for a moment. Let me shut this off. I want to make sure we're in a spot it can reach. I think we get it. If we get it down there, we're good. Okay. We made it. We're good to go. We did it. Maybe not run the, the thing entirely out of gas in case that's like a weird thing. We can... I don't know if that really makes sense. Probably doesn't make sense. Let's say like flood the engine or something, but that's not how that would work. We are... Out of gas. Just gonna roll this thing down here. Oh god. We're out of gas. Right there. We're, we are fully out of gas. Okay, well, we're going to hope for the best here, baby. Back to the Tuz. Let's do it. Time for you to do your job, girl. The other one was all around the map. Dude, look at everything that we have traveled to. We went all the way around here, did all of that. And now you just need to get down there to them without falling over, deliver some gas, get it done. I guess... Truthfully, I, I bet the reason I'm going to make sure this takes the absolute easiest route. Just like that. The reason why the con goes through fuel so much is because it's it's 100% four wheel drive. I actually do kind of remember that from the last game. Obviously, that takes more gas than two-wheel drive, although we run most of our trucks in four-wheel the entire time anyway, so. Fuel delivery service coming in, baby. I'm not gonna lie, this one... I hope we can make it across. This one definitely took some planning. I feel like we are starting to get a little bit better at the thinking ahead, like the fact that we figured out that we would need a second truck. Do you know how mad I would be right now if we were 90% done and we ran out of fuel and I, I couldn't... I had to restart and redo the whole thing again. Like that. That would have been a bad day. We do have the snorkel on this thing now. Oh god. Maybe lower the tire pressure? Come on. Push through it, girl. Push through it, girl. I know. I know you're tired. I know you're not as nimble. That's okay. We still love you. You got it done. I'm going to stay in low all the way through all the mud. Come on. I need you here. I really need you. There it is. We got through. Okay. So our truck is going to be right there. Oh my gosh, dude. I, I cannot freaking believe it if this works. There is an airdrop here. Anchors, dinosaur ribs, and scrap metal. I'll leave the anchors for somebody else. If it was going to be jack screws, I probably would have taken it out of an abundance of caution. But we're not going to will that into existence. There's our girl. Now, the question is, can we just do the fuel like we want to? I think we can. I think I could just give it literally all the fuel from this truck if I want to. We have all the extras in reserve, too. Let's just be really careful about this, Trev. It would be an absolute shame to lose it now. 
Low and slow. Bro, what is up with these? This thing can't even get over freaking trees. Okay. Poor thing. Inventory. How do I... How do I give fuel? I have another idea if this doesn't work. Oh, here. Here, 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 here. Here. You got to do trade. Okay. So trade all your fuel in there. Beautiful. That's good, right? Are we good? We're good. We're fired up. We're good to go. We still got our jack screws. Okay. Woo! I was nervous there for a second. I was going to say my second plan would have been we could, you know, this wouldn't be ideal, but we could just tow it all the way back. But it's, you got to press trade. That makes sense. You're trading with the other person, uh, Trev. So this is our victory lap. Not going to lie. I'm feeling really good. The fact that we have, I think, five jack screws. I mean, we we can be pretty devious with this. Our engine is looking a little bit bad. We could repair that some. Use our spare parts for that. But um, I don't see how we could fail this going forward. I, honest, I feel like what we need to start doing is just spawn multiple trucks in. No matter what. I think that's the play. I don't think it costs us any extra money. It might. But especially if it doesn't, why not give yourself the extra peace of mind? Last river crossing here. This is the shallow part. I think we want to go to the left. Try to get up on the dry land. Come on. Stay high and dry, baby. That's what I'm talking about. Oh my goodness. All right. It's just an easy coast to the finish here. Just around this bend, we are going to be back at camp. I cannot believe how difficult that was. But we got it done. That's what I'm talking about, baby. Deliver those supplies. Another 40K in the bank all day. Oh my goodness. Okay. The con's a beast. I'm glad we got it. I'm ready for some less intense, long, stressful missions. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thanks for watching. Peace out.